YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have no subscribers and no views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, today I'm going to do my best to upload about, say, three reactions, and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So, my second reaction um, of today is coming from Anjali. I am an avid fan of Anjali from when I first heard her sing in colours. Um, that was about um, a year ago, I think it was. And she just smashed it with this urban kind of hip-hop kind of way of singing and it just blew my mind and from there i've just been tracking her even though every time when i do react to her songs it gets blocked i just go through the um the the, the the procedures of getting it unblocked and I'm quite happy about to do happy to do that because she is an absolute amazing artist now I believe this song came out yesterday this is Brussels I love you and I'm expecting to be laugh be laughing because she's got this kind of um comedy characteristics about her um but also very very blunt and straight to the point but she's just got a way of delivering a, a message which is either heartfelt or in a comedian way and that's what I love about about her she's absolutely uh, she really is an amazing artist uh, and singer as well i follow her on um, instagram as well um incidentally if you would like to follow me on any other social media platforms go over to my about page there's a number of links there just click on it and it'll take you straight over to any one of those social media platforms i would love you to subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my net ups blows will be anyway look let's go straight into my second reaction of today so, without further ado, you know what we're here for, don't you? Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? I've been at Paris and Wild as you can see, I don't put the subtitles on, I put it on after. Which also wants you to go to the go to original and check it out. Okay, it's just some, a lovely family song. You know what she reminds me of sometimes? I don't know what it is. It's um, it's it's, it's a small essence, I, I, I would say. Um, not a lot of. Um, that American artist who's very, very massive out there. Um, uh, is it Tif Tiffany or something like that? Um, Taylor Swift, there you go. She's got this Taylor Swift thing about her. Um, like, she's the French Taylor Swift. Um, but I don't want to say that, but I've already said that, so I apologize, apologize for that because she is her own artist in her own right. But if there was going to be a category of artists from around the world where I can say, okay, all these artists, they're like that, then I'll put her under, I'll put her beside Taylor Swift. 
I really do. Because just like Taylor Swift, she can change into any kind of outfit and she'll be that a different character. Um, just like Taylor, but uh, with Angeline, um, which Taylor Swift, I haven't seen Taylor Swift do, is that she, she can wrap her ass off. She can do the urban vibe. She can do the classical vibe. She can do the operatic vibe with the classical Swiss. She can give you the ballad element. You know, she can give you the the um, the, the country side element. Taylor Swift, I don't think she can give you as much as what um, Angeline can provide you with. And she, Angeline always keeps you on your toes. With Taylor Swift, it's kind of like she's beginning to be kind of like predictable with the um, the song choices, what she uses. With Angeline, you just don't know what she's got because she's her music category is so vastly spread where she can jump into anybody's culture and bust it up, you know? And I don't think she gets a lot of recognition from that. She's like an unsung hero. She really is. I hope she does get recognised for that. I really do. I'm going to go back just a little bit. To about, say... About, say, here. No, I'll say back here. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? She changes the whatever clothes she wears, she just changes character, she just appearance, she just looks completely different. Amazing. Very risky as well. <laughs> I wonder why she loves um, Brussels so much. Soul train. <laughs> was Angelina with um, Brussels I Love You um, or Brussels I Love I think it's Brussels I Love You Je um, that's it. she never disappoints me with her um, with her musical choice she always keeps me on choice with the selection it's like you just don't know what's going to I mean like right now this was an amazing song but I guarantee you the song after this that the next song is you will not even think about thinking well you know of the, the song choice, the category song choice. Is it going to be an urban vibe? Is it going to be a ballad vibe? Is it going to be a, a, of a classical nature? Is it going to be folky? You just don't know until she actually does it. You really don't know. And that's what I, that's what I like about her. So, certain artists are too predictable with uh, with their song choice. Like, you know what the hell is going to be. You know what they're going to sing. Uh, not know what they're going to sing about, but you know... Um, their vo vocal capabilities, you know, the, um, the the sounding of the actual track. And they, you know, they don't want to step out of the box to try something different. Angel Angeline was never in the box. She's always been trying things different. And it's like, we're the ones who's got to keep up with her. Um, and I see it on the Instagram as well, even the, the slight, even the photos and that she takes and uploads onto Instagram. It's just, it's just so out there. You're not seeing any other artists doing that. I'm glad that she's enjoying herself. I'm glad that she's enjoying her journey. She is an absolutely amazing um, person. And, um, you know, her fan base is absolutely large. as large as you want it to be. 
Um, I, last time when I went over to French was uh, France was uh, last year. And yeah, I did um, and from, um, was it Waterloo? No, it wasn't. It was from King St. Pancras to, um, to Paris Guadalajara. And then I say that the city university just stayed outside of um, uh, in Paris because I don't know, there was, I just felt that a little, I don't know, a bit claustrophobic in um, Paris. There was too much things happening and it was my first time. So I wanted to stay, go outside where there was loveliness and, and quietness and me time to like smell the flowers <laughs> without me, anybody looking at me very weird. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same thing for the French people as well when they come over to um, to the UK. It's like, whoa, 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 you know, just take me to the countryside or parks where I can chill and take a breath of fresh air. Everything's happening so fast. Um, you know, France, like I said, and like England and France, we are a fast-paced moving country. Um, and once a day, you know, it's, everything's fast. Um, I'm supposed to, like, it's like New York as well. Um, but you, like I said, when I got there, I just wanted a, a little bit of a space so I can take a breather in, take it all in and say, right, OK, I'm here. Let's start my journey. And so it'd be interesting to find out the reasons why um, she likes Brussels. Um yeah, it'd be really, really interesting to know. I, I, I don't think I've actually been there before. No, I haven't. I've been to Belgium, but I haven't been to, um, I haven't been to Brussels. And that is Brussels, isn't it? Um, yeah, Brussels, I love you. So that's the name of the track. Brilliant track. And for that reason, I salute you. Boom. Paris, my player, quand je veux rentrer chez moi.